Hi guys, and today we're going to show you how to make these guys. Everything here costs under £10, including the pumpkin. And these guys run off just two AA batteries, so you can take them wherever you like. We'll show you everything you need from the components, where to get the components, how much it all costs. We'll show you the code that you can use that we've written for you, so you can just take it and go. We also show you how to adapt it, adapt it so that you can make your own cool designs and customise it however you like. You may also hear brought instead of bought and many other crimes against the English language. Let's get into it. Meet Clive. Yeah, this is Clive and he's from one of our YouTube videos back in 2015 and we've used Clive every year since. So he's had the same brain but a different head. Um, there were a few inconveniences. Um, Clive was running off a Raspberry Pi. And the pie was inside the pumpkin. When the pie was plugged in, the pie took a while to boot up and come to life. As he's already mentioned, we also had to plug it in as well. Yeah, and it was a bit fiddly to get the script to run as soon as the pie had booted up. Also, if we wanted to take pie out with us, which Clive loves to do. Take Clive out with us. Sorry. Yeah. Like to meet um, we had to plug him into a, pa a power bank, which is quite, quite fit, um, quite Big. heavy. Yeah. Um, so times have moved on and now we're going to use a Raspberry Pi Pico microcontroller instead of the Pi. Yeah, which is a lot smaller, it will boot up immediately um, and we can just power it off a couple of AA batteries, which would be great. We're going to be using a Raspberry Pi Pico to do the code, but the code should work with any other RP2040 boards and some other microcontrollers that support MicroPython. The eyes use an 8x8 LED matrix. Now be careful because you can just get the LED matrix alone with 16 pins on the back. You want to get one with a backpack on and a chip. The chip does all the work for you and all we've got to do is talk to the chip. There's two main types of backpacks. Clive has always used HT16K33s, these ones. But we have um, seen that these ones are more popular. Um, these Max 7219s. We want as many people as possible to be able to do this um, project. So we're going to support the Max 7219s and the HD 16K33s. There's a lot of variations and they're all good for this project. These two here are from Adafruit and they're different colours. You can see this one here is square instead of circular. And you can see I've actually melted this one via soldering it. And I've also had to solder these two as well. Some of them come pre-soldered and some of them you've got to solder it yourself. The way we talk to these is via I2C or I squared C. If you want to talk to the left eye and right eye, then you need to make sure they have different addresses. So to do that, you've got to solder across these contacts here, which you can see I've done there. And this one here. It comes from the factory with one address and by soldering these in different combinations that's how you can change the address. We talk to these ones via SPI or SPI and the, ways, the way these ones work is this eye gives the information to the other eye via this wire here. So they kind of cascade the information along so need, no need to mess around with addresses. Now, all this we brought with our own money, but the guys at GeekPie, thank you so much people at GeekPie, sent us this um, Raspberry Pi starter kit, which came with these. These are Mac 7219s, and you can see all we've got four and they're all connected together. Now, we could have used these, but we didn't want to break them apart because I th we thought that it might make a good scrolly project or a mouth for maybe next year. So we broke into our piggy bank and brought um, some of these so then we can support anyone who wants to use these instead. Max 72-19s. Time to carve them. We're just going to hack these together because we're recording this a few weeks in advance so that hopefully when this video goes out you'll have enough time to get the parts. So by the time Halloween comes around, Pete the Pico will need a new head. We're about to go carve them. We don't need to tell you guys how to carve pumpkins. Um, just before we do, yeah, just a notice, um, these 8x8 LED matrix um, I ordered yesterday and they came today. Another two have arrived, let's check them out. Um, I 
ordered two for under five pounds and um, I ordered two sets one where the chip is on the inside not visible which I think is quite neat and I also ordered these ones with the big chip on the outside just before we start carving I have drawn a rough um, sketch of the eyes so you can see that fits there just so I know where I'm carving we may as well carve this one as well Successfully cut the top off. Ooh, that's the best. They are now um, hollowed out and ready to be cut out the eyes. The pumpkins have been all carved and are ready for the circuitry. So let's go over the circuit for the Mac 7219 if you're going to use that one. So if you come over here, this um, first matrix display, the top one is simply connected to 3v3 power on a, a Raspberry Pi Pico. And then underneath it here, it's just connected to ground. Then we have our um, red one, um, DIN or DN, and that is connected to GPIO pin 7. So that's the 10th one down on this side. And then just above it here, GPIO 6. Um, that is connected to the clock pin on here, so that's the bottom one. By the way, um, these pins are labelled on the components. Um, and finally, GP5, which is um, two down from GP6, is connected to the CS. Um, these have got two sides, um, an in and an out. You'll know which one because one is D in for the in and one is D out for out. Um, so the D, in, the D in is connected to your Pi and then the D out connects it to your next one. I thought it'd make a bit more sense if you come down to my circuit, because I finished. Uh, my in here, everything's coming from the Pi into here for the in, and then out the out to my um, next one. So I've got all the code here. If you want to get this code, it will be on our website with some more instructions or on GitHub, link should be in the description. And I just want to open main.py and then go here to use underscore max 7219 and make sure that is true because that's what we're using down here and then we want to make sure use i2c is false because we're not going to be using them right now and then all we do and once we've made sure that's correct we just select all the code here right click and then press upload to that should upload it to a pico and it's asking me to if i want to overwrite that and i'll just say okay because that was already on my Pico. Okay, and then I just want to run main.py. Come down here. It's upside down, sorry. Um, and it works. What if you want to customize what appears on your eight by eight matrix display? You want to head over to matrixfonts.py and then you want to scroll down until you find eyes here. Here you give it a name of what you want to call your pattern that you want to display. So this here is hex numbers that make up your pattern. So if you head over to gurglabs.com forward slash tools forward slash matrix, there'll be loaded this page and you can play around with this and create your pattern. And I'm going to press this button here just to empty out my screen. And I'm just going to create a diagonal line. You can create whatever you want. And then I'm just going to head back into Thonny. And I'm going to copy this line. And then I'm going to paste it here. And then I'm going to call it what I want to call my pattern. So I'm just going to put new. And then we go back to our tool. And this hex right here, we just copy all that. Copy that. Back to Fonny and we just paste it here. And then we save this. And then we want to upload that to our um, Raspberry Pi Pico. Um, it says it all over right because I've already got this file on. I just press OK. There we go. And then all we want to do is head over to main.py and then scroll down to here. This line here is what shows us our customised pattern. And right now it's going to show us a ghost at the beginning. We don't want that. We want it to show us our pattern, which we called new. There you go. And I'll run that now. And you can see it shows our diagonal line. Now, what if you want it to do an animation like this? 
So look to the right, look to the left, blink or whatever. Well, let's look at this line here. And that runs the animation stare and blink. But what's stare and blink? Let's head over to our JSON file called eyes underscore Annie. And you can see here we've got stare and blink. And all I put inside here is just a set of instructions of what I want it to do. So you can see I want my right eye at the beginning to be straight. Now what's straight? Let's head over to matrix fonts.py and you can see we've got straight hair. And that is what straight does. And you can see in our tool, it's just the eye looking straight at you. And the left eye, we just want to be straight as well. And how long do we want that to last? What's the duration? Well, one second. And then next, the right eye, we want to start to blink. So beginning to blink, same with the left eye. And the duration is 0.02. So you see the pattern here. So you can see here, I've not done this much. I'm just playing around with the brightness a little bit. So let's have a look at some patterns. This is just to roll the eyes. This is what you do to grow the eyes. And to create your own, all you do is just copy one of these. For the right eye, you just change this to what you want it to do. So you could duck in the fonts, the eyes, and have a look at what you would want the eye to be. And then same with the left eye. And you can just have a little fiddle around and play around with it. And then once you've done that, you save that, upload it to your Raspberry Pi Pika like we did before. Head over to main.py, copy this line. And then once you've copied that, just change stare and blink to what you've named your pattern, shall we say, animation more like. It's that simple. Now the circuit for the HD16K 33s. Now I think this circuit is way more simple. So you can see both eyes are connected to the same GPIO pins. So they're both connected to power and ground here. And then the SDA pin is connected to GPIO pin 4. And that is the sixth um, pin down on the Raspberry Pi Pico. And then just below it is GPIO pin 5 and that is the CLK pin or clock pin. Now just remember the reason that we can control both of these eyes separately is by changing their address. Now the code for the HT6 and K33s. Well it's quite simple actually you just download the exact same code we did for the Max 7219s and in main.py we just make sure use Max 7219 is false because we're not using them and use i2c is true because we're going to use we're going to be using i2c. That's simple. And then all the customizations I showed you earlier is the exact same for the um, HG 16K 33s. As I said earlier, if you want to control both um, LED matrix displays, then you'll need to know their two different addresses. Now, how do you know their addresses? Well, that is what this function here does. So when you run the program, it will print out the address of both your eyes. If it can't find your eyes, then it will just say that there are no I2C devices. So I've just run my program and you can see my two addresses are here. Your addresses might be different and if they are, you just come up here and change these two numbers to your addresses it showed you down here. It's pretty simple. To power it, you could either keep it simple with a USB, um, USB or you could use a um, run off some batteries. To get this um, battery clip, you could buy it really cheap off the internet or make one or just steal one from a broken toy. And to plug it into the Pico, all you do is the black wire goes to ground and the red one to Vsys here. We've now finished cutting out our pumpkins and we've put our LED matrix displays inside the eye sockets that we've cut out. Inside the pumpkin, we've just got our circuit in there powered by two AA batteries. You can see in this power pack. And then this guy, if we take his hat off, Again, you can see that the circuit, it looks a bit messy because we've just tried to get it in as fast and as simply as possible. And behind it, hopefully you can see there's the power pack. All the information you need um, will be on our website, googleapps.com, and that's where you can get the code as well. I just thought I'd let you know um, the scroll on the pumpkin size um, seems to be on the I2C back to front. Um, so I'll share the code with you and I'll get around to fixing that unless one of you guys beat me to it, which feel free to do that.
when you do find the code it might look a little different because we do tend to update and improve our code a lot so don't be alarmed if it's changed a little bit we would love to see and hear about your guys's animations and sprites that you've created and your creations so do share those with us it'll be great to do like a showcase of them and share them with everyone else anyways have a good day happy halloween goodbye bye do you think it worked i hope so but i saw your mouth move i saw you blink loads of times